This is it, Pirates. I've been joined in May of 2018 and spent nearly four years on finally leaving Microsoft. <sighs> yes, that is correct. I no longer work at Microsoft, and that means I'm currently unemployed. So why did I quit? Well, there are a number of reasons where to begin. Microsoft is a great company, don't get me wrong, with nice benefits, plus peanuts compensation, and a great work-life balance. Overall, I would say Microsoft is pretty chill. They truly care for you and your family. But what ultimately made me decide I should quit is work. It really was boring and uninteresting. You see, I mentioned in this video why I quit Amazon. When it comes to work, the number one thing I value is growth. How much can I learn and grow? Would I really become a better engineer or a greater person by staying here? After putting some thought, the answer I arrived at, unfortunately, was no. The work I'm doing was no longer creative, interesting, or fun, at least to me. Of course, there were other things that played a role in my decision to quit. For example, slow corporate work culture. I guess this is true for every conglomerate, but I think it was especially true for Microsoft. No real leadership to look up to. Many of the managers and senior engineers here are a bunch of rockheads who have been here for more than a decade. They say they'll listen with open hearts, when in reality, they'll answer with a million reasons why they won't. What's the point of talking to a rock, right? Lastly, a horrible, horrible on-call. Man, of the four years I worked here, there was rarely a single week in which my phone went unpaged. Does Microsoft give you a business phone? No. Do we get compensated for waking up at 3 a.m.? No. Are they willing to hear our concerns over how stressful on-call is? Basically, I'm fed up. For the past few months, I asked myself several questions. Will I be happy at Microsoft a year from now on? Will I become a better engineer if I stay? Will I be someone greater than whom I was yesterday? My answer to all those questions was no. So that's what's happening. I made my decision. I'm leaving Microsoft. And please note that this is very personal and by no means a generalization of Microsoft as a whole. Microsoft is a great company, and I mean it. There are great people, great leadership, and great engineers, and so many other great things about Microsoft. It's just very unfortunate that I was lucky enough to be surrounded by one. I guess that's why teams are important. Then I guess your question is, what am I going to do? Where am I going? What's happening with me? Am I jumping to a different company? Am I taking a break? Or am I transitioning into a full-time YouTuber? Before I get into that part, are you interested in a fun and interactive way to learn coding and computer science in general? Well, let me introduce Brilliant, who's kind enough to sponsor this video. Did you know that the best way to learn anything is by doing it yourself? Learn interactively with Brilliant's fun, hands-on lessons in math, science, and computer science. Interactive learning helps you learn six times more effectively than watching lecture videos. There are more than 60 courses to choose from, and my favorite is the course on data structures. It's done a brilliant job of explaining the fundamentals of data structure and algorithms in the most enjoyable and engaging fashion. If you're interested in learning about DSA in general or looking to improve your understanding of it, the course is a great place to start. The good news is that you can get started for free. Not to mention that the first 200 subscribers to sign up through my link get 20% off your annual premium subscription. So make sure to check it out in the descriptions and comments below. So that's it guys. What are my next steps? Where am I going? What will I do? Subscribe to find out.